Hey guys, um, my name's Isabella. I never really talk about my practices. Um, I like to let most of it come to me. I'll start with like a, a theme, I guess, like a general concept, which is usually pretty loose. Um, and as I start looking for materials or making stuff I really just like allow the idea to develop um, with what I find or with how things are responding to what I've done um, it's not it's not very rigid um, I spend a lot of time just like living my life and you know letting connecting the dots between seemingly unrelated things. Um, and then I'll usually go, when I go to the studio, I'll just start messing around with something. Sometimes I have like uh, an intent to get something done and other times I'm just like, I don't know, doing something that's like easier fun, depending. Um, and then I'll, you know, I'll just get sucked into it. Um, Unless it's video. When I'm working on video, I usually, you know, I go to the computer and I sit down with not so much a goal of what it's going to look like, but a goal of, like, how much I'm going to get done because I have to render it and save it and all that. It's not, you know, I can't just, like, leave it half done to dry, like a painting or something. Uh, I guess it's kind of like ceramics. It's a lot, a lot about timing the right timing. Um, pretty much focus on installation work, video installations. Um, sometimes I do a little performance. It's important for me to make as much of it myself as I can. I know a lot of the times with installation or performance work or any, you know, anything really elaborate a lot of the times. It's sometimes, you know, not, I wouldn't even call it a collaboration because the people who assist don't get any recognition. Um, but I like to, to learn how to do everything and try to do it myself aside from like driving a vehicle. You know, I let people drive, drive the truck for me, but, uh, it's, you know, really satisfying to know that I've done it all on my own. Um, sometimes, art, sometimes I'm less interested in the art itself and more interested in how the person made it and, like, the process they use because it's kind of like magic. Between making pieces, I draw a lot and paint some and do a little... keeps the creative juices flowing and maybe connects some ideas that we, you know, aren't really, don't know we're having. So I guess the process usually starts pretty slowly with a lot of ideation and, you know, thinking if I really want to go through, <laughs> through with my ideas and how exactly I want to bring them to life. Um, the more I have made for a certain project, the faster and more I work on it, because I have a clear vision at that point. Like, you know, it's like when you have a, a blank piece of paper in front of you, you can do literally anything. Uh, but the more you, you put down, the less options you have to make something, like, good, I guess, you know? So it, it just starts super loose and as I, you know, as I create it, it takes on a life of its own and I kind of just have to like do what I can to allow it to express itself fully. That's really what it's like. Um, 
and I have, a, you know, I usually have a super tight budget, which has a lot to do with the materials and that I can use and like what I have access to. So it's frustrating, but I don't necessarily always think it's a bad thing. You know, like I don't, I don't hate any of the art I've made, even though I had to use what I had and not necessarily what I would it, like use if you know just to create my dream vision or whatever that may be but I like to work with um, outdoor materials like sand and mulch and dirt and elements like fire and water and to bring them inside where they don't really make as much sense. I'm trying to create an immersive experience that can take the audience out of our world and transport them somewhere else through not just visuals but sound and smell. Um, the water is really effective because you can hear it, see it, and smell it. I don't necessarily gravitate towards warm colors or cool colors specifically, but I do seem to like really vibrant colors, um, and I like the, the luminance that the projector creates, and also using glass and mirrors that are reflective and translucent to create layers with the colors. When I'm working with video, I prefer to use my own footage, but I don't get to travel that much, or, you know, so sometimes I have to use found footage to get what I'm trying to achieve, um, but a lot of the time, if I can find it in the world or do it myself and record it, then I will try to get that footage myself. When I started here, I didn't have the money to buy more than one hard drive. And that was a huge mistake on my part, and I, um, I lost most of my portfolio that was on there. And my favorite piece, I filled the entire black box downstairs with half a ton of sand. Um, so I, I would really like to do something like that again that is... Uh, as immersive as I can make it, taking up an entire room rather than just a, a corner or space so that you really feel like you're, you're in something, not the building that you entered into. I'd say unintentionally that my work is inspired by fantasy meets horror. Um, a lot like what I read and watch, but also like my dreams, um, which are usually pretty scary and exhilarating, but I always wake up from them, so it's kind of just my own personal, like, movie, movie every night. I try to create the feeling that I can remember and capture it in, you know, a few moments long enough just to get get that mood across.